Today we're going to investigate what we mean by the term something being waterproof and water resistant compared to something not being waterproof. Who's ever been out in the rain and got soaked from not wearing a raincoat or using an umbrella? You got wet because your clothes you were wearing were not waterproof. So, to help you understand what makes something waterproof, I'm going to show you the difference between a fabric being waterproof and water resistant compared to a fabric not being waterproof and water resistant. What do we mean when we say something is waterproof? For something to be waterproof, the material needs to be unaffected by a liquid like water and not allow this liquid to penetrate its surface. For a material to be waterproof, it must not allow any water to seep into its pores and cause anything inside to become wet. Like, if you're wearing a raincoat, you don't want to become wet, do you? A raincoat isn't made out of the same material as your t-shirt you're wearing because your t-shirt isn't waterproof. As you can see in this video, the pores in this raincoat are extremely close together and don't allow any water to penetrate and seep into the material. So if that's waterproof, I bet you're now asking what makes something not waterproof. When a liquid, like water, reaches or hits the surface of the material, the material doesn't repel the water. It soaks it up and causes the material to become soaking wet. Non-waterproof materials like a towel or cotton t-shirt that you're wearing allows water to be absorbed. As you can see in the slowmation, the bricks underneath the towel became wet as the material in which the towel was made from absorbed all the liquid compared to repelling it like a raincoat. Waterproof means something must be completely able to repel water and water resistant means that the material can only repel water for a short period of time. This influences what materials you would and wouldn't use when making specific items for different jobs. Non-waterproof materials can be made waterproof by being coated with another material that repels water, like a plastic, wax or rubber. When a material isn't waterproof, it is described as being porous, like paper, sponges or cloth. All these materials absorb liquid, like water, but when they are squeezed, the liquid will be released. So there we have it. For something to be waterproof, it must not allow any water through and repel any liquid for a long period of time. If it's not waterproof, it's going to allow any liquid to seep into its pores and become very wet. I hope this video has now helped to explain to you what we mean when something is waterproof and not waterproof in two different slow motions.